Hi guys, welcome back to Nita Crickets. Today I have a very, very beautiful creation. Honestly, I didn't see myself make this until someone commented on my previous tutorial about my bow slit skirt and they said the bow was kind of not visible. Someone had to like focus so much to see that it's a bow. So I was like, maybe I can remake the bow but on shorts and this is the creation i hope you guys like it i'm i'm trying to write the pattern for it so it should be ready within the course of the week um also the skirt is already on my channel and you can go and check it out if you need the skirt version so yes guys um this is what i have i am working with robin it is size 4 yarn guys it is three ply size 4 yarn and it is a hundred percent acrylic so before you start working this tutorial please make sure that we match the thickness of the yarn because i don't want us having different results right i am working with a six millimeter hook and to start off i'm going to get my yarn and because i am working shorts i'm not going to be working any increments around the hip area so i am going to be making a cord that can stretch out to meet my hip uh, hip measurements or hip width so what's going to happen is i'm going to make a slip knot and i am working for size small yeah size small but it could stretch out slightly to fit a size medium but it may be too tight a little bit tight but yes so it is a size small and i'm going to work i worked 90 chains myself but for accuracy um please make a cord that can stretch out to fit your hip measurements make sure that the stretch is not very tight it should be a comfortable stretch to meet your hip measurements if you don't have the person you're working this for you could just get the hip the hip measurements that they have probably let me say 42 work your chains and put the chains onto your tape measure and stretch them out and see whether they can uh, comfortably meet uh, 42 inches right so that's what you're going to do and those are the chains that you're going to work now let me get back after you have your chains and show you what to do And once you have your cord complete, make sure you don't twist the cord and get back into the very first chain stitch that started the row and work a slip stitch, right? That is to close off our work so that we have, <clears throat> we have like more like created a ring, okay? Once you have done your slip stitch, you are now going to um, chain two because now we are going to start our row. We chain two and into this very first stitch that that sorry the same stitch where you work your slip stitch you're going to work a half double crochet and then work one half double crochet into the next stitch and you're going to continue working one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around until you come to the end of your row so i'm going to meet you at the end of your row and show you how to end your row just work one half double crochet into every chain stitch all the way around now you are going to find that you have you must make sure that you have the very same number of uh, stitches as your foundation chains that you worked all right so let me meet you at the end of the row here i am at the end of my row this is how my work is looking like so far and um yes now i'm going to work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch of the two chains that started the row i forgot to mention the two chains do not act as a stitch they are just our turning chains right so yes once again we are going to chain two and turn our work we are working in rounds so do not forget to turn your work because the importance of turning your work is to make sure that our seam line what should be our seam line is kept at in a straight line when you don't turn your work, you're going to have a seam line that is diagonal, kind of diagonal, right? But to keep it in a straight line, you have to remember to turn your work for every row, okay? That's a trick you should keep in mind. I don't know if you guys already knew about it, but that's it. 
<clears throat> so yes uh once you turn your work you're going to work one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around just like we did previously so just do this all the way around until the end of your row and that's where i'm going to meet you and show you what to do so here we are at the end of my row and i'm going to now work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch of the two chains that started the row now guys to work my next row <coughs> I'm going to chain two, turn my work and I'm just going to do exactly what I have been doing working one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around until the end of my row and at the end of my row I'll work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch of the two chains that started uh, the row so this is what you are going to keep doing all the way around you know working the very same thing for every row all the way around for the next we have so far worked two this is the third one so for the next 13 rows you're just going to keep doing this if you're working for a size large you may you may need to work for the next uh 15 rows i guess all right so let me meet you guys there so the number of rows uh how to dictate the number of rows that you need to have before you work your crutch area you can take measurements uh, for sizes small and medium. It's usually 10 inches from uh, the higher waist all the way down to towards the crotch area. So that's the very same thing here. But I I leave room for the waistband because I'm going to I'm also going to have a waistband on my shorts. So for me, in total, I have 16 rows. For sizes large, because you expect the person has a big bum, all that and all that. So um the length from the high waist to the crotch area may be a little longer maybe 12 inches or something so just keep that in mind for accuracy all right now for our crotch area we are going to count all the number of stitches that we have on our previous row and we are going to divide that number by two so what happens now for example me i have 90 stitches and I'm going to divide 90 by 2 and that gives me 45 now I am going to count uh, 45 stitches from where I ended my row right and make sure that I mark I put my stitch marker into the 46th stitch why I'm putting my stitch marker into the next stitch is I'm going to be marking the first stitch and the center stitch all right so that means when i start counting i start counting from the second stitch because the first one is going to be marked already so i start counting from the second which makes me mark the 46th stitch right so just do the very same thing and mark your stitches then i'm going to get back once you have done that and show you what to do so here we are uh this is what we have now we are going to chain two and turn our work you know just like that turn our work so into the very first stitch i'm going to work four half double crochets because i told you i am marking the first stitch and the center stitch after that so into the first stitch so literally just have in mind that this is a marked stitch as well so just work four half double crochets all in that very same stitch the first stitch and then you are going to now work one half double crochet into every stitch until the marked stitch until you get to the marked stitch okay until the stitch before the marked stitch so just work one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around until you get to um until the stitch before the marked stitch right so let me meet you guys there then show you what to do Now here we are um, into that marked stitch. What I am going to do is I'm going to work four half double crochets all in that very same stitch. So just work your four half double crochets all in that very same stitch, which is the marked stitch. And this is what we did for the other marked stitch as well. So yes, once you have all four half double crochets into that stitch, you're now going to work one half double crochet into every stitch.
one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around until the end of your row and you will work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch of the two chains that started the row so let me let you guys work all this um all the way around and i'm going to meet you at the end of your row then show you what to do <coughs> here we are i have come to the end of my row and now I'm going to take out my stitch markers and I'm going to mark um, the second half double crochet stitch in between the four half double crochets that I worked for every increase that I worked. So first I'm going to get this stitch marker and place it into the second half double crochet. You see we have, you know, four of them. So the center of those four is where I put um, this stitch marker. And then I get into these four as well uh, and put my stitch marker into the center of those four half double crochets right there. Now, I'm now going to start working. I've started working that crochet, but now I'm going to like, you know, you're going to now see the division that makes it a short. So first I'm going to work my half double crochets. I've already turned my work. Sorry. I've. I'm going to work my chains two chains i've already turned my work so into that very first stitch i'm going to work um one half double crochet i will work one half double crochet into the next stitch and as you can see the next stitch is the marked stitch right so i'm going to get in there and work two half double crochets all in this very same stitch just like that and once I have those two half double crochets, I'm now going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? And now I'm going to get this 10 to be attached onto this side of my shorts, all right? My girl is disturbing me so yes what's going to happen is i'm going to yarn over and now get into the marked stitch on the other end okay right there and i'm going to pull yarn over pull through a loop and then you know work my half double crochet just like that and then once again get in there and work another half double crochet this is what we did on the other side we worked two half double crochets you know before we worked the bridge okay so now from here you're going to work one half double crochet into the next uh, stitches one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around please make sure you're headed clockwise do not go anti-clockwise because you know remember we have to you know crochet working this working towards this end so that we come to this end right there so work your half double crochets i'll meet you at the end of the row now this is me at the end of my row and i have worked my slip stitch into the second chain stitch of the two chains that's that uh, started the row and this is how your work should look like okay now to work the next row we are going to chain two and turn our work you're going to work one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around including the 10 chains that we worked so into every stitch and every chain stitch you're just going to be working one half double crochet all the way around okay so let me let you guys work uh your stitches going all the way around and i'm going to meet you at the end of the row right there and show you what to do so yes just go all the way around here walk all the way around and i'm going to meet you at the end of your row then show you what to do so yes um i figured that some of you may get confused when you get to your bridges so let me just work this with you so that you do not get confused when you get to your bridge you just have to work one half double crochet into every stitch it's that simple okay guys yes just work your one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around until you get back to um where we started our row okay 
So let me take this super fast now that you see that. Now we came to the end of our row. Okay. And now we are going to chain two and turn our work. We are going to work one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around until we come to the end of our row okay so um work your one half double crochet all the way around come to the end of your row repeat this and repeat this until um you get to where you want your slit your front slit to be i worked this for the next four rows so i had a total of six rows from here uh i had a total of six rows from my crotch area before i worked my slit so just do that then i'm going to meet you there so here i am um you know um with my six rows from the crotch area this is how my work looks like so far and i've cut my yarn like you can see so what's going to happen i'm going to get one of my stitch markers and just look for a point where at the front honestly there is no mathematics on this there is no mathematics so just place your work onto your table and just look you know just 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 like a designer like just just be like a designer and find a point at the front where you can have that split for the slit b okay and there you will put your stitch marker right now you're going to get your yarn and you know insert your hook into i'm just adjusting this so that remember this the crotch pulls that end uh towards the middle so i was just trying to adjust it a little bit to put it um further away from my left hip a little bit further i don't know but yes um <clears throat> you're going to insert your hook into that marked stitch and pull through a, a loop uh, chain two and then work one half one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around until the marked stitch right so you're going to work one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around and your last stitch is going to be in the marked stitch all right so that means the marked stitch is going to have two stitches right so work all the way around and have your last stitch be worked into the marked stitch right there okay right there so i'm going to meet you at the end of your row and then show you what to do right here at the end of my row and um now going to chain two and turn my work because we are working a slit we do not work a slip stitch because the slip stitch is going to close off our work so to keep it open we don't work a slip stitch instead we just now chain two turn our work and work one half double crochet into every stitch you do this all the way around until the end of the row, which will be the first stitch that started uh, the previous row, okay? So you're just going to work your half double crochets all the way around, and you're going to do this repeatedly for the next, you know, four rows. You're just going to keep chaining two, turning your work, working one half double crochet into every stitch until the end of the row right there. Then you do that repeatedly, until you have the length that you desire from your you know for your shorts and from your slit all right so i'm going to meet you guys there then show you what to do next so um i'm thinking i should just show you how to work this other leg so that i let you work both legs until you know you come to the end of it so when i come back it's just to show you how to work your waistline um here like you can see we find a point at the back where our seam line is so we find it right here and we insert our hook three stitches away from the center okay like one stitch from the four half double crochets that were worked for our crutch so into that stitch we chain two and turn our work and then we insert our hook into uh that very same stitch and work a half double crochet then we work a half double crochet into the next stitch okay right there so that means the next stitch is the center yeah 
the next stitch is the center like the center of you know right there so when we get into that stitch we are going to work um two half double crochets all in that very same stitch okay now what we are going to do is we are going to work a slip stitch into the top of that half double crochet that is next to us because remember we had to have four half double crochets you know but we worked two and then worked our 10 chains so we work a slip stitch into the second half double crochet before that that was worked before we worked our chains and once we work our slip stitch in there it's more like to help us close off and show no no joining of our crotch area right now once we have that we are now going to work um one single crochet into every stitch on the opposite side of our 10 chains that we worked for the bridge of our crotch okay um so you work single crochets on the opposite side of those 10 chains okay and you work nine of them now once you get to the very last chain stitch right there you are going to pull through your loop and have two uh two loops onto your hook so you insert your hook pull through a loop you have two of them then you're going to yarn over now insert your hook into the marked stitch which was our previously marked stitch of the crotch right there so you insert your hook and pull through a loop you know you pull through all the four loops on your hook okay make sure you work this stitch tightly so it doesn't leave a gap okay and then you get into that very same stitch again you work your second half double crochet like that so that means we are we we have matched our stitches okay we have marked our stitches now from here you work one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around until you get to the end of your row and work a slip stitch after you have that you're just going to do exactly what we are doing for this other leg work your slit just like we have worked on this leg and match the length of everything okay now i'm going to get back to just show you how to work your waistline now to work our waistband is we're going to get our hook and insert it into the very first chain stitch we are working on the opposite side of our foundation chain so we insert we insert our hook into the very first chain stitch and pull through our loop then chain five i think five yeah chain five now the more stitches the more chain stitches you work the longer or wider your band is going to be i don't look for a really you know exaggerated band i just want something small for my waistline so i chain five and into the second chain stitch from the hook i'm going to work one single crochet and i'll continue to work one single crochet into every stitch all the way down until I have a total of four single crochets. Now I'm going to get into the next stitch on the opposite side of my foundation chains and in there, right? Now just look closely. When you see, I uh, will insert my hook into that next stitch on the foundation chains, on the opposite side of my foundation chains, I'll insert my hook in there and work a slip stitch. Now this slip stitch is to attach the chains that we just worked and the single crochets we just worked onto the waistline of our skirt, right? Then I'll get into the next stitch as well and work a slip stitch, right? Then I'm going to turn my work. This is the easiest way to have a bun onto a waistline without having to just work the bun separately and then hand sew it onto the waistline. I feel like that is double work. Now, once you have turned your work, you're going to get into the first single crochet stitch along the single crochets we just worked for our band and work a single crochet in there. Then you're going to work one single crochet into every stitch until the end of the row and you should have a total of four single crochets. If you have more than that, then you probably worked a stitch into the slip stitch and thought it's also a single crochet stitch. So you should be very careful. That's why you, most of you like lose it when working these kind of bands, right? So you work your way up until the end of your row and should have four single crochets. Now, once you have that, you are now going to chain one, turn your work, right? And now you are going to work going down. So we work one single crochet into every stitch all the way down and you should have a total of four single crochets, right? 
if this kind of confuses you you're going to have to work this band separately and then hand sew it along your waist your uh, waistline right but if you really are eager to learn just look closely at what i'm doing and learn something now what what happens here is we get into the next stitch along the opposite side of our foundation chains and work a slip stitch then once again work a slip stitch into the next stitch that's on the opposite side of our foundation chains now you will turn your work like that and now we are now going to work into the very first single crochet right there we work a single crochet into it and then continue working one single crochet into um every stitch all the way up i voice my tutorials usually in the morning but sometimes i get buds you know making noise in the background i just hope you guys can hear me and i don't intend <laughs> to have this noise yeah but yes this is what you do once you get up you chain one turn your work work your single crochets all the way down work a slip stitch into the next stitch and again work another slip stitch then turn your work work your single crochets going up and that's what you do all the way around for every stitch all the way around until the end of your row so when you come to the end of your row oh sorry yes to the end of your stitches this is how your work should look like now when you come to the end of your waistband you will get your uh, yarn needle and stitch the two ends together and have a seam line look like that okay now once we have come this far we are now just left with working our bow and you know attaching it onto um our slits okay so to work the bow i'm just going to get a different color of yarn and i'm going to make a slip knot and chain 10 but also the width that you need for your bow is literally up to you uh you can work more chains than that i just needed a small bow not something very exaggerated so yes work your 10 chains and now um at this point you are now going to you know get into um the second chain stitch from the hook and work a half double crochet then you will work one half double crochet into every stitch going down until the end of your row you should have a total of eight stitches once you come to the end of your row so i'm going to meet you guys there then show you what my to do. apologies i i think i missed a clip but what you do is you chain two turn your work work your half double crochets until you have something like this okay just literally working your half double crochets you know until you have about 10 rows and you have you know a panel that looks like this okay now um the next thing is we are going to get our yellow yarn or the color of your shorts and then and here we are going to make a slip knot and chain um five right so once you have all, ch all five chains this is just for the piece that is going to run in between our bow so i'll chain five and into the second chain stitch from the hook i'm going to work a half double crochet and then I'll continue working one half double crochet into every stitch all the way until I come to the end of my row. Just like that. Then once I have that, I'm going to chain two, <clears throat> turn my work, and I'll work one half double crochet into every stitch until I come to the end of my row. Oh, sorry. I worked my first half double crochet into the second chain stitch from the hook so i end up with three half double crochets right so yes chain two turn your work work one half double crochet into every stitch all the way until the end of the row and i'm just going to do this for a couple of rows probably four and i'll cut my yarn at some length because i need to use the yarn end to hand sew it onto the piece right so here i am uh, at the end of my row uh, sorry at the end of you know working my as you can see i worked i sorry i cut my yarn at a length so i'm going to get my yarn end and just put it into my yarn needle the eyelet of my yarn needle just like that and now i am going to place my maroon um panel that i worked for my bow just above the slit okay just above the slit and then i'm going to get this yellow panel and place it across the center of 
the maroon panel just like that right across no no over yeah over the center just like that and remember we are passing one end through um the slit and the other above you know and making sure that our yarn needle is going to we are going to hand sew these two the, the two ends of this panel one you know underneath the slit and the other above but just make sure that sorry about that but i was saying that just make sure that we are hand sewing this into onto sorry onto the row that was worked before the slit okay on both ends we are working both ends and hand sewing them onto the row that was worked before um yes before our slit so i'm just making sure that i get through you know get through every stitch and making sure that i am attaching uh, it correctly just like that so i'm just going to put this uh, at a speed so that we come to the end of this tutorial And once you have you know hand sewed everything correctly you are going to cut your yarn and just secure your ends then also cut your ends or weave them in now this is exactly how you're going to work your other bow on the other slit all right so once you have uh, your bow complete you just you know try to place it right try to make sure these you know the ends of this panel are placed right in a way that gives off that kind of bow uh yeah that kind of bow design and then this is the very same thing you're going to do on the other slit as well put your bow and once you have that that means we have finally made our shots i want to thank you much you guys for watching sometimes i'm so lazy to even make tutorials but i'm grateful for your support you know thank you so much goodbye